Right, well, I was recently challenged by my subscribers to do as well in other nations' reserve aircraft as I did in the Russians. So here we go. We'll take the reserve out first. P-26 B-35 pea shooter. And it's, it's a good map for it. It's uh, Stalingrad domination. So it's just a straight aerial dogfight. What sort of competition are we looking at here? Uh, oh, these are all... <laughs> okay, this isn't... This is actually probably going to be more challenging. Because everybody is low tier. So let's go get ourselves... Some capture XP. Yeah, we've captured B. Throttle up. Now let's go and find somebody to shoot. Now, with the Russians, because they're biplanes, it's all about staying low. Because biplanes have got lots and lots of lift. They don't drop out of the sky when they turn at a low altitude. Now, the Americans, I really don't know. Let's see. I'm going to try staying low anyway, but it, I've noticed, certainly at low speeds, these things don't lift very well at all. So I'm 300 feet up, and it's probably... No, I'll, I'll try. I'll try 300 feet. Let's give the Brits a go next. And then the Germans, and then the Japs. What are those? Light tanks. I'm not going to kill a light tank with a machine gun, that's for sure. Oh, this is not going to end well. I'm not going to stay in this town. I'm going to go for other targets. And turn the second you start getting shot at. And yeah, these things definitely lose altitude in the turns a lot more than the Russians did. My guns are back up. I believe I shot that guy down. Oh, he's trying to land. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're just making this easy. I'm taking a couple of hits, but it's not. There's no serious damage. Oh, me and my big mouth. Now that is some serious damage. Yeah, I think I'm doomed now. Yeah, really struggling to maintain altitude, so... Okay, we're here. This is actually tougher than against higher tier aircraft. These guys all have the same manoeuvrability as I do. So... Uh, I don't really want to go for the, for the Kingfishers, because they really, really don't turn well at all. They're bombers. They're attack aircraft. But we're doing all right. So the tactics that you're going to have to adopt with these little Americans is... Uh, I really haven't quite figured it out yet. Certainly with the biplanes, so the British and the Russians, you want to stay as low as you can, because you just do not lose altitude with the lift that four wings give you. You do not lose altitude when you, uh, when you make tight turns. who was who shot at me there's nobody there there's an S1B going low here sneaky little bugger what's he doing hit 
hit him again. And who shot me down? Friendly fire. Fuck me, it's not playing World of Tanks. It's my last reserve aircraft, I'll have to start using tier 1s and tier 0s after this. So, I think the idea for the Americans is actually do maintain a bit of altitude and then dive down on your targets. And that would make sense, because that's generally the way the American planes work, the fighters anyway, at later levels. There's nobody else up here other than me and an HE-51B. Oh, nice. Shot down an I-15. Okay, so let's not dive straight down at him yet. He's running for friends, and I don't want to get stuck. There's a P-26 coming up. Let's double up on this guy. Close. This fella seems to know what he's doing. He's handling the plane well. Handling it better than me. Then you get the nose up. So this is why you really don't want to be dogfighting at low altitude. And he couldn't outturn me, and he bled off too much. So I'm flying the same plane as me. Um, he bled off too much speed and altitude in the turn. And this little Russian, I'm, I'm really. Playing to his advantages here at low altitude. And turn nearly as well as these guys do. But instead, he's going after my teammate. That's the prick who shot me down earlier. <laughs> the awards just keep stacking up. Oh, let's try and turn inside him. In fact, no, let's not. Let's get the hell away from him. Don't play to their advantages. Play to your own. And now we have some altitude. And we can use that to dive on him. Or should I go for the KI-10 who's after my wingman over there? Now there's two of them down there. Let, yeah, let's go for the KI-10. Oh, okay. Ah, but I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Okay, F2A. The Brewster Buffalo. Better aircraft than the previous. It, it is a tier one after all. How are we doing now? Oh yeah. And this thing's a hell of a lot faster than the uh, reserves. Uh, and it's the you know it's the real flavour of the American aircraft. You pick up all that speed in the dive. And you just shoot their wings off. Oh. Oh, 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 there he is. Got a hit. Get that nose up. Where the hell is he? Shit, he's behind me. He's got his own problems, and wingman killed him. Good, 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 good. Who's next? Let's get some altitude. And play to your strengths, not theirs. I really don't know what the strengths of the Japanese aircraft are. But he's coming after me. And my guns are set for 400 metre range. But that'll do. Who's next? There's just a couple of ground targets left. 
But this isn't about the ground targets. This is a domination map. It's about kills. I could be a cheeky and go and capture their airfield. <laughs> oh no, here they come. No, there's two of them. Okay, so I'll probably need to kill this Ki-10, or try to kill this Ki-10 quick, before the Brewster Buffalo up there gets involved in the fight. What's he doing? He's not heading for me. He's just flying around. Oh, yeah, it's like that, is it? Trying to ram me. He should probably be able to outturn me. And he is going to try and ram me. And here comes the pea shooter. And we have some friends now. <laughs> Let's give it some military throttle. Get up there. Didn't even try to kill them. Just take your shots on the way in, circle them, and just let them run themselves into the ground. Is that a target over there? It is a target over there. Ah, where's that KI 10? He's gained a bit of altitude. Military throttle, he's coming for me. He hit me, but I hit him. He's doing the old zoom and boom, same as me. Hit him again. Machine gun's reloading. He's, we're go on, go on, Cap. I'm on him, but my guns are reloading. Come on, dude. I need to get closer. Optimal. Keep hitting him. There you go. Well done on the Cap. And now I think they're trying to cap ours. <laughs> did we get it? We did get it. Yep. Well done, dude. Well done, the Germans. Let's get some altitude. It's going to be difficult. I have a damaged engine. And yet, no surprise, way ahead of everybody else. <laughs> And that's probably down to, well, I'd like to say it's because I'm great, but I have better trained crews than these guys. Probably. And I am going to have to go and land now. And my engine's about to cut out. There, it's gone. Gear down. Help. Ah, not going to make it. But I've still got two aircraft. Two more rank zero. So, well done the KI-10 pilot. Fortunately, he was probably the last one left on the enemy team. Or well, he might have a few more aircraft. Uh, let's find some ground targets and bomb the crap out of them. What are they? Light tanks? Yeah, I will need to use bombs. Enemy team has lost all its planes. Get these bombs away. Ninja some more points. <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? <laughs> oh, well. So how did we do out of that one? Any second now. Well, yeah, we, we already saw that one coming. Double the score of the next best player. So, what does that translate to? Remember, you need to get from rank 0 to rank 1. In any nation's air force, you need 6,000 experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 25,000 experience. <laughs> and 42,000 credits. And remember, your reserve aircraft costs you nothing to repair and rearm. You can only earn money. In reserve aircraft so at the most assists well that's an extra 2000 xp the most air targets shot down that's another 2000 xp and obviously yeah 25302 xp that's that's with premium bonus so uh, premium gave me an extra 12600 it basically doubled my score but even so that's enough to get you to rank two or three uh, even even without premium so um you know even though that was a 
a, a same tier-ish. I mean, I was definitely the lowest tier there, but the, the guys, other guys in the game were only tier 1 or 2 at the most. That's actually more difficult in one of these little planes um, than going up against tier 6s and 7s because they can all turn inside you, especially if they're flying those little Russian things. Um, and I definitely think the American thing seems to be, uh, whereas the Russians, you want to be down at 100 feet or lower and just turning inside everybody who tries to come down and get you. Because they're biplanes and they have all that lift with the extra wing, they don't lose altitude when they turn at low altitude. The Americans do because the P-26 P-shooters are all monoplanes and they don't maintain altitude as well. So you probably don't want to be going down below 100 feet with the Americans. But uh, even though, you know, they say the Russians, oh, the Russians have got four machine guns, the Americans only have two. Well, yeah, but one of the American machine guns is a 50 cal. So, you know, there you go. It's equally possible to do just as well in American reserve aircraft. So next, the British reserve aircraft. More to come. Watch your six, and I'll catch you next time.